this video, you're going to learn how to present and record your PowerPoint presentation with your camera on your screen at the same time using the Microsoft Street. First, in your computer browser, type office.com. Then you have to sign into your Microsoft account, okay? So in my case, I already have my username here. I just click sign in and it asked me my password. Okay. Then next, I'm inside my Microsoft Office account already. What I'm going to do is I'm going to look for the stream, okay? Stream application. Click that. Okay. Then next is you can have here some options like home, discover my content, create, then search. Um, click create. Then one of the options is record screen. So you're going to click that record screen. Okay. For your information, this screen recording feature has a limit or a maximum of 15 minutes per recording or screen recording. Okay. So we can now start. Click start recording here. Then as you can see right now, we have three options. Um, share your screen, your entire screen, application window, or Chrome tab. Okay. So best option is just share your entire screen and click share okay as you can see right now it has 15 minutes and as you can see um, my video is already on screen right now okay if I am presenting my PowerPoint I will just go to my slides so I am in my PowerPoint slides right now as you can observe my camera is on screen at the same time even if your presenting your slides already you would still have your camera on your screen at the same time okay until the end of your presentation okay and what I like about Microsoft stream is this does not only limit to your PowerPoint but for the rest of your screen computer screen okay so for some reason you want to present something outside from your PowerPoint then you have the option to do it okay for example, if you want to go to a certain website, then your camera is still on your screen, okay, wherever you go. And let's say you're done with your presentation or screen recording, then all you have to do is click stop sharing. As you can see this option at the bottom part of the screen, um, stop sharing. So click that, okay. Then let's go to our Microsoft Stream um, page or area. So as you can see right now, this is the presentation that I recorded earlier. You can play it. You can check it or review it. And for some reasons, if you are not satisfied with your presentation, then you can click record again here. Um, another option is you can upload this to Microsoft Stream. It means uh, this video or recorded presentation will be saved to your Microsoft Stream account. And what I usually do for this uh, recorded presentation or screen is I'm going to download this, okay? If you want to have a copy of this recorded presentation to your computer and share it to others or maybe your students if you're a teachers or to other people for some reasons then you can click download okay as you can see right now uh, that recorded presentation earlier is already downloaded as mp4 when you say mp4 as video file okay so this is now the recorded presentation i had earlier okay so i have now the options like to share this um, to post this to any platforms for instance if you're a teacher you can post this to your Google classroom you can send this through your email you can post this to your Microsoft team if you are using Microsoft team for your classes okay so I could say that this is one of your best options if 
you are planning to pre-record a lesson for your students, okay? And if you want your students to see your face while you are giving them a lesson, then this is one of the best options that I can or I could recommend.